Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Long time no speak. I'm really sorry for the absence. This year has just been really hectic. I don't have any excuses other than the fact that I'm by no means a professional YouTuber or blogger. So unfortunately, when things get really busy, those things that I really enjoy doing have to take a back seat. And I really have missed filming videos and interacting with you guys. So I'm hoping Fingers crossed that now things have calmed down a little bit, I can get back onto a more regular schedule. I've got quite a few videos that I've got planned, a lot of hauls, um, one of which is going to be an IMATS haul, a bit controversial because long gone, but I wanted to upload it anyway just because I had a really fab time at IMATS. And loads of empties, I have been storing empties up like a crazy person. Um, so definitely stay tuned for some empties videos. I'm trying to use up 40 products by Christmas, so expect plenty of empties videos. And if you've got any video requests, then do of course drop them in the comments below. As always, do that on any video you'd like. Um, I thought that it would be a fitting return to come back to you today with some recent favourites. I really enjoy filming favourites videos, and so I wanted to share with you some products that I've really been enjoying over the last few months when, you know, I have been a little bit absent, but, you know, I've been keeping notes and I knew that I wanted to share them with you once I had a chance to get back into blogging, so, or vlogging. So, without further ado, I'm going to get into those. They're in no particular order, as my favourites videos never are, um, so I'm just going to crack on and get started. I'm going to start with a bit of a surprising one because I'm quite pale, as you can see, and by no means have I ever really been a fanatical fake tanner. Um, but I've been fake tanning a lot over the last few months because I have found a fake tan brand which I love. It outperforms any other that I've tried before, and by no means have I tried many, but I've tried quite a lot. And the ones that I've tried, I've often been impressed. I like Sun Believable. Um, for, in, for example, Famous Dave's is another brand that I've liked. But Zentan has outperformed them all. I've been so impressed. Um, on occasions when I've wanted a more intense tan, I've been reaching for the Moroccan tan, which almost looks like Marmite when it comes out of the tube. It's a very dark colour, um, so it gives you that nice guide colour. And you can use it. It's called a weekly self-tan, so it gives you an instant colour. I mean, I only would really tan sort of weekly anyway. Um, and I've also been using the... Zentan Mousse, which is a weekly self-tan in medium to dark. Not quite a deep color, not quite as deep a color as the Moroccan tan, as the name would suggest. Um, but I quite like this because it has a mousse formula, which is very easy to work with. I like this because it dries really quickly on the skin, probably a little quicker than the Moroccan one. Um, both are pretty foolproof. I haven't had any problems with streaking or, um, you know, patchiness, nothing. It's really, really good. I mean, obviously I prep suitably beforehand by exfoliating. Um, and I don't use these on my face just because I tend to just bronze my face with makeup. But I like these. The fake tan scent has never really been something that really bothers me anyway, but these do boast a sort of vanilla scent as opposed to that biscuity scent. I've noticed the biscuity scent a little bit, but the predominant scent is this sort of vanilla caramel scent that comes through and I really really do like both of these and would rate them very very highly. You'll be hard pressed to get me off Zentan now as my tanning brand of choice. On the subject of body care, I've been enjoying the Sanctuary Spa Relax Unwind Luxury Bath Soak. I'm not big into bathing, I tend to prefer the convenience of showers but every so often they are a nice indulgent way to relax just because you know, you're know you taking time out, just indulging in some me time. This is really affordable. I tend to like sort of very indulgent aromatherapy associates bath products for example. I also like Elemis. But I liked the idea of trying a more affordable one and I've been enjoying a lot of the products from the really um, from the recently relaunched Sanctuary um, ranges. So there's Relax, um, I think there's a Revive one as well. Um, there's a Sleep one, which I've enjoyed the body scrub of. I've reviewed quite a few of these products on my blog, including this one, so I will link those below. As an affordable option for a bath soak, I would definitely recommend this, particularly as we're going into sort of cool, cooler months. For hair, I have finally moved away from my Lush American Cream Conditioner, which I love, and I've been enjoying the Aveda Smooth Infusion Conditioner. And I really like this because not only does it boast that botanical sort of shampoo fragrance that the brand is known for, but it also 
really does help to smooth down frizz and flyaways, which I suffer from. You only need to watch my videos to know that. And I really do notice a difference when I don't use this. Really great for using pre-styling. Um, I love this. A little bit more effort to rinse out than most conditioners that I've tried, but nonetheless, I really, really do like it. And there is, again is a review on my blog, which I will link below. Next up is a fragrance that I've been loving, and this is by Diptyque. It's called L'Ombre dans l'eau, and basically this is the Baiz candle, which is very popular in perfume form. So a really wonderful green fragrance. It's so fresh. I just absolutely adore this. I bought this in June, and you can already see that I've made a hefty dent in the bottle. Um, really, really enjoying this. And I like that on the back, there's a sort of scene from the back of the um, label as well. But I think this is beautiful, and I love the packaging. But most of all, I like the fragrance, which is the most important thing. And I feel like it wears pretty well on my skin as well, although obviously that will vary depending on your sort of skin type, etc. Talking of skin, I'm going to move on now to skincare favourites. Not too many to share with you, but a couple that I wanted to mention. Um, first up is the Radical Skincare Hydrating Cleanser. And Radical Skincare isn't a cheap brand, but I really do like this. It's not as hydrating as, say, a balm cleanser. Um, but I've liked this quite a bit. Um, I use it in the same way that I would a balm cleanser. In fact, it's quite messy. It's a, um, a sort of gel cream texture and I massage it onto my dry skin. It really does work well to remove makeup. Um, and it has a sort of a tropical fruit scent. I'd sort of describe it as quite similar to the Ren um, glycolic range with the papaya and, you know, very fresh fruity fragrance, but not sickly or overbearing. And so I apply this onto my dry skin massage it in, works very effectively to remove makeup, and I remove it with a hot flannel and then proceed with the rest of my nighttime regime. I don't tend to use this in the mornings just because I prefer the convenience of something such as an oil cleanser, um, but for evenings I have been enjoying this. I'll probably move more into balm cleansers as we go into winter, but this is something that I've been enjoying to keep my skin hydrated and just will just add in an extra hydrating step to my regime. I really like Lanolips and I really like the packaging, I like the products and I feel like I get on very well with lanolin in products and um, this is using medical grade lanolin and this is the 101 ointment but it's in the strawberry scent and it has got um, real strawberry and so the enzymes from the fruit have a gentle exfoliating effect, you can't feel it at all um, but it's got a slanted tip applicator and it's sort of a thick balm um, which I've been applying to my lips before bed every night. It's got a sort of, it's got a, a strawberry fragrance as you'd expect. I'm trying to put my finger on exactly what it is. I can't decide if it's like strawberry laces or strawberry yogurt, um, but there's a different strawberry scent to it. And I really like it. It's not a tinted color. Um, it's just that the strawberry comes through within the fragrance and is included within the ingredients. A new skincare launch, which I am blown away by already, is the Kiehl's Super Multi-Corrective Eye Opening Serum. What a mouthful. I like the packaging. I think it's really cute with that bright purple. It's functional with pump dispenser. Um, it's a little bit annoying that you can't tell how much is remaining. Um, I imagine that a little will go a long way and, you know, this 15ml will last for ages. You never need to use much when you're using an eye cream. I just pop it onto my ring finger. Um, and dab the two together. You only need to use, say, a grain of rice size, and I work it around the eyes. If I've got any excess left, then I'll take it up between my eyebrows, because I do tend to get a frown line there, and even on the marinette lines as well. Um, but I really like this. It's really been helping to hydrate my eye area, um, which, because they've been quite dry, um, not sort of a flaky feeling, but I've just been noticing that the fine lines around my eyes are more apparent, so that's why I wanted to ramp things up a little bit and this was launched i'm already a fan of Kiehl's eye cream so i really like the midnight recovery one um so i figured i'd check this out and i've been blown away really really like this feels very lightweight i use it nighttime and daytime and it's great under makeup no problems whatsoever i've noticed a difference to the appearance of the skin around my eyes and that for me is really impressive when trying out a new eye cream 
moving now on to makeup. Now, quite often I like to apply the products onto my face during my favourites video, so you can see how they apply. But I had a feeling this was going to be a long video, so you'll have to forgive me for not doing that today. I'm going to start off with a lipstick that I've really been enjoying. And this is from Milani, and it is the shade Nude Creme, number 26. It's a really pretty, wearable nude pink. Um, I wore this to a friend's wedding recently. If you follow me on Instagram, there were quite a few photos that I posted. I'll pop my Instagram account name below. Um, but I got this in a swap, which I will be uploading a video of soon as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, I really, really like this. Very, very wearable. I do struggle to find a nude lipstick that doesn't make me look dead. So the fact that this has that pink undertone in it really does make it very wearable and it's very comfortable on the lips. I found it pretty long wearing. And I quite like the scent of this. Some people might not like it, but it's almost like a watermelon scent. Um, such a shame that we don't have Milani over here because I would like to check out more of their lipsticks based on this. Really nice creamy formula and a cream finish. Okay, quite a lot of eyeshadows to share with you. I've really been liking eyeshadow pencils. Um, I find them really convenient for travel and, oops, and just quick and easy to apply in the mornings. I'm not a morning person by any means. So I've been enjoying a couple and I like this as a combination in fact. This is the number seven Stay Perfect um, Shade and Define in the shade Cool Mink. And it's a twist up, really creamy. It's almost like a sort of taupe with a hint of lilac to it. Um, sort of quite a shimmery effect and I apply this all over the lid and then to define I pop the Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon Dark Pearl which is for brown eyes the daytime one in fact it needs a sharpen that's the thing I don't like about these is that they don't, aren't automatic you do need to sharpen them um, and that looks like this so it's a deeper shade that I use in combination with the number seven just to deepen it up so, and I think it's a nice little um, pairing because obviously Charlotte Tilbury is a celebrity makeup artist and number seven, the creative director, is Lisa Eldridge and I believe they're friends. So, nice little combination there. Um, and I took that with me when I went to IMATS weekend, just threw them in my purse. Great, like, to travel with. What more could I need? Doesn't take up much room and I can just blend them out with my fingers without the need to take separate brushes. I've also been getting a lot of enjoyment out of my MAC eyeshadows recently and I've got these in the old palette which I still like because it reminds me of sort of old school YouTube. Um, I've really been enjoying Woodwinked which I'm wearing on my lids at the moment. It's a really nice sort of one shadow look eyeshadow because it has a different effect depending on where on the lid you apply it so in certain lights it looks deeper um, whereas in others it looks a bit more reflective really really like that there is a swatch on my finger i believe that's a Velux pearl but if i'm wrong then i'll put the um, correct finish below and then i've also been enjoying all that glitters which is a really nice neutral for every day just all over the lid um, and i've been deepening this up with a little bit of brown from the Naked Basics palette, the original one, um, the shade called Faint. The shade called Faint, just in the corner. And I really like that as an everyday look as well. Um, love the formulas of all of these. Really easy to work with, very blendable. And, you know, I think they'll be great additions as neutral shades to anybody's collection. Whilst we're on the subject of eyes, it seems fitting to mention a new mascara favourite that I've been enjoying, and it's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. This is the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform High Impact Volumizing Mascara, just in classic black. When I first saw this, I thought, well, that silly little wand isn't going to do anything. It's a um, very small plastic bristle wand, um, quite unlike anything I've tried before, in fact. Um, really, really good for getting those tiny little lashes along the bottom as well as the ones inside. It gives a nice fluttery finish that I really go for. Great for volumizing, doesn't flake or peel off or smudge throughout the day. It's not quite so good at holding a curl as others that I've tried, but on the whole, I've been very, very impressed with this and would definitely recommend it. I certainly plan on repurchasing it once I've used this tube up. And then on to face products, I've just got one to talk about, and this is a classic 
um, blush which I have never really mentioned on my channel before but it's one that I've been using a lot recently and it is of course NARS Orgasm which I've been enjoying applying using the synthetic Real Techniques blush brush um, by Nick and Samantha Chapman so um, really great for just sweeping that colour up along the cheeks. Um, I'm not actually wearing that today. Today I have got Benefit Dallas on my cheeks, which I'm getting back into as we hit those uh, cooler fall months. Last up, I'm going to mention a few non-makeup favourites or non-beauty favourites. I can see my camera battery flashing at me to say that I need to hurry up. So first up, Really liking these t-shirts, they're sort of boyfriend style from Warehouse, it's the Warehouse Definitives range. Um, I've also been enjoying um, my new Marc Jacobs handbag which I picked up at iMats weekend which was another favourite. It's just really refreshing to have a smaller handbag, I tend to use really big ones. Can't fit much in here but it's a really nice crossbody bag and I'll make sure that I pop a outfit of the day post on Instagram so you can see what it looks like on. Um, but just really really convenient, I'm so glad that I picked this up, it was a bit of an umming and ahhing impulse buy in Harrod sale. But Really pleased to have added that to my handbag collection. Um, a human favourite or a blog favourite is Strawberry Blonde blog and specifically Nick, the founder of that blog. I will link that below. She has been keeping me sane over the last few months. She has been an absolute star. All will be revealed soon, but she has been a wonderful sort of support. And not only that, but also her blog is fantastic as well. So if you're into beauty blogs, which I suspect you may be if you're watching this video, then definitely check her blog out if you're not already following it. And last but not least is some chocolate that I've really been enjoying. And I don't know if this is a load of rubbish. It's a probiotic chocolate. It's called Oso. Um, they're dark chocolates. Um, they come in little bars like this. So you don't get much, but that's probably the reason why it's so low in calories. They're wheat-free, gluten-free, nut-free. This is the chocolate orange flavour, and I just thought it was really delicious and a nice way to get that sweet fix um, without overdoing it. I don't know if the um, probiotic benefits are really that true, but if it is, then great. And it's only 72 calories per bar unsurprisingly so because they are quite small but nonetheless really enjoyed these and I think I'll probably pick up some more just because they're useful to have in my desk drawer or as something you know if you just fancy something sweet after after a meal and you get a pack of seven I believe so yeah one for each day Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this. Sorry to talk really quickly towards the end because my battery's dying. Um, if you have, then please subscribe. It's really great to be back. So I um, really hope that you enjoy the videos that I've got planned. Thank you so much for hanging in there and continuing to support me. Give it a thumbs up if you're happy and excited that I'm back. And don't forget to comment below if you've got any favourites you'd like to share as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all hopefully very soon. See you soon. Bye.